Welcome to the realm of the dead, mortals. Oops, I thought we were all dead. That's totally amazing. Did we all shrink or is this a giant's office? Who, who is speaking? We are confused. It has not even been a minute since we arrived and I have already detected something illogical. Suppose we really are in the realm of the dead, then why are we being addressed as mortals? Or is it possible to be deader than dead? Silence! Bow your heads before your Lord Hades, miserable vermin. Hades? The Greek god of the underworld? I don't see why he should be responsible for us. I never... Silence! Ignorant, unworthy mortals! I have granted you the incredible honor to stand before me, the god of the land of the dead, and I expect the appropriate respectful behavior. That's not asking too much, is it? You're not really suggesting that we're dead, are you? Hmm, let's see what your records say. Simon. Simon and King Tanzaro IV. It states here that at the hands of a certain Kalava, and by means of a killing machine lacking official approval, you have been carried from life to death in a series of utterly confusing events. In the course of these events, your mortal shell disintegrated into its molecules. Or rather, it was converted into a non-viable carbon compound in some sort of exothermic reaction. Just a moment. Telephone. Hello, Department of Post-Mortal Affairs. My name is Hades. How can I help you? That's typical of the authorities. Callers are always favored. I think I'd better get going. We are truly dead? But how and why? Who dared such infamous assassination? Your Chamberlain Kalaba is behind all this. The villain has aspired to your throne all along, and my double, the dilettante, helped him by accident. Hey, okay, a couple of things went wrong. A little accident. These things happen. How often do you think I have heard these stupid excuses? I'd better tell you straight away. You are now in my realm, and no one, listen closely, no one will leave the realm of the dead without valid documents. Of course, you can apply to be released into the land of the living, but... Just a moment. Telephone. So it isn't really my fault that Kalaba's now resting his big butt on the throne. It is done! And that double dope even helped me! I always knew that my dear assistant Simon was up to something! <laughs> now, I'm finally king instead of the king! And very soon, I'll reign over the entire Magic Kingdom! Kalaba on the throne? No, the guards will prevent that from happening. They are still responsible for safeguarding law and order. God, bring my future bride to her apartment in the tower and make sure she won't fl uh, won't be kidnapped. Yes, sir. Your Excellency. Company March. One, two, three, four. You swine. I'll never marry you. You're mean, sly, and worst of all, you're way too small. Terrible, horrible, dreadful! Who will now inherit our throne and reign over our kingdom? Who will provide wages and food for the people? Listen to their sorrows and woes! And who will squeeze exorbitant taxes from them to invest in this unaffordable fairy tale castle? I'm sure Kalaba will take care of that once he is on the throne. If only you dilettante of a double had stayed out of my business, we would all still be alive. In addition, would you please mind your tongue in the presence of His Royal Highness? Ah, 
The king is just as dead as I am. Enough chattering. Go and have your discussion elsewhere. I have work to do. The files are piling up to the roof. All these confusing, unjustified, sloppily filled out applications. And now, get out of my office. I would like to quickly inquire how one might go about requesting a relief. I have no time for this. Beat it. Come back in a couple of centuries or so. Finally out of this frickin' department. I can't believe it! That's all you have to say? Whose fault is it anyway that we're here? If they had abolished the monarchy, there would be no king and nothing bad would have happened. Blasphemy! Mutiny! We will have this forbidden! It's against the law to question the king's authority! Sure, it's against every law, but if you hadn't been king in the first place, Kalaba wouldn't have tried to dethrone you, so it's your fault. Stop it, this doesn't help. You remember, there was this one person who wanted to help Kalaba build his neat toy? And who's that one person? It was you who helped Kalaba in the end. You broke into my house, you lied, you cheated, and you stole! Yes, I had a lot of fun. If I have to have a double, why does it have to be such a chaotic and infantile fool? Aren't you sorry for anything, not even that you're dead? Being dead seems okay to me. You have to look at the bright side. You can't die again. Stop blabbering like this. You don't seem to understand what you've done with your overestimation of yourself. So, would you please leave me alone now? Don't talk to me again until you realize what a mess you've caused. Whoa, my pedantic double seems to have had an emotional outburst. He must really, really be angry. I'd really love to go on shouting my head off, but I'd only get into trouble. Application 2450JD. Hmm. I guess first Declined. I've got to find a way to distract Hades. He won't be too happy when I take his doorstop away. Howdy, Hades. What do you want, you disrespectful grub? Have you ever heard of the concept lunch break? What the heck are you talking about? Oh yeah, I remember. In theory, there is such a thing. But due to the constant work overload, I've unfortunately had to cancel it. I guess I should rectify that at some point. Now, honestly, why should I take a break? A nice sandwich with ham or even egg? Hey, that would be worth it. But these things are very rare in this provincial land of the dead. Can I apply to you for release? Yes, that's possible. But not for you. You get on my nerves. Hey, I'm the good guy in this adventure, and everyone knows that the good guy doesn't die in the middle of the story. So get me the application form now. <laughs> you still can't believe it, can you? You're not in the middle of the story. This is the end. <laughs> that is... <laughs> well, what the heck, I don't care. If you want to kill some time, here's your form. You better take a whole stack in case you make a mistake. Applications containing spelling mistakes will not be processed. Have fun with it. That's the application for an early release from the Realm of the Dead. I wonder why they have exactly 42 pages.
Oh, Eurydice, beloved Eurydice, in the darkest shadows of the realm I was looking for you, since death took you away from me. Yes, I will search on and I will find you. Kick the drugs, buddy. They'll kill you in the end. Who are you? Are you bringing me a message from my dear Eurydice? No. What is it that you want, then? Are you Elvis? Who's Elvis? I've never heard of that man. Probably because he's not dead. Oh, yes. How could I forget that? Who's Eurydice? Eurydice. My Eurydice. The loveliest of all dryads of Thrace. The most beautiful of all nymphs and my beloved wife. Out of my arms you were taken on our wedding day by the deadly teeth of a treacherous viper. You mean, you didn't even... There was no wedding night? So what's all this singing about then? I'll leave you to your depression.